sometimes I'm tempted to turn communist. <laughs> You've read one book, Julian. A fine idea. Out of the frying pan of Winship and Hitler and into the fire of Uncle Joseph Stalin. Perhaps we should hold off before rushing to judgment. Philip, the man's a racist and a woman hater. Yes, Lorinda, he said some <laughs> terrible inflammatory things. But why do you think so many people support him? Well, their collective IQ I mean, is it's about not because they're all <laughs> stupid and prejudiced and blind. The League of Forgotten Men is aptly named. People want a voice. They want agency over their lives. Are you supporting Winter? Absolutely not. But if we don't like him, we better figure out the reasons behind his popularity. There may be a minority of people that... Maybe. Listen to yourself, Dad. Your liberal self-righteousness is giving you away. Self-righteousness? Philip, you shouldn't speak to your father. He no. never listens to what I have to say anyway. Self-righteousness? Don't make me institute Robert's Rules of Order in this house. <laughs> what I was trying Just to say, Dad... Just listen to him. Doremus, that's all he wants. But Lorinda, will you join me in the kitchen? What I was trying to say, Dad, is that even if it's a minority that's supporting Senator Ridger, you're marginalizing the problem. It's about money. Okay, sure. Yes, and identity, and trust. As in, who can people trust to fight for them? Even when that trust comes at the expense of the truth? The truth for you may not be the same for the average man. Chad enters with a load of firewood. Oh, perfect. Shad, um, I'd like to ask you a question. About what? Uh, how are you planning to vote? I told you before. Uh, humor me, please. Like I said, I'm voting for Windrick. Yeah, and why is that? He's willing to fight for things, for the working man. You see? Plus, he's going to fix it so everybody will get 5,000 bucks. Immediately. Exactly. It's about money. I figure I can start a chicken farm. Chickens? Didn't all our chickens die on your watch last year? With that kind of money, I'll be able to buy a couple thousand. Beat the odds <laughs> this time. <laughs> and so you believe Senator Windrick will fulfill his promise of giving away this money? It's a monetary incentive. I already started buying some equipment on credit. Credit? The bank gave you credit on Windrick's campaign promise? Seems good enough for them. Oh, really? A $5,000 credit to buy chickens? People make 10 times that on a good farm. I wouldn't sell low on chickens if I was you, Mr. Jessup. I've been reading up on it. Is that so? Smarter than they look. There you have it, Dad. The average man incentivizes to better himself. That's your analysis? This is immoral, Philip. Windrick is literally buying the election. It's an expedient political promise made by anyone who's ever run for office. Five thousand dollars in cash? And Roosevelt promised to balance the budget, and before him, Hoover promised a chicken in every pot. And they all lied. All of them! There's not a single politician in this country that can tell the truth and get elected. First you say Windrick is motivating people with creative business practice. Then you say he's lying through his teeth. Which is it? Could be both. I have no idea. That's the first thing you said that makes any sense. It's a flaw in our system, Dad. Professional politicians have to rally the troops by whatever means necessary. But hey, maybe Windrick did some good, and we should all invest in Shad's little enterprise. Who knows? Your Neanderthal man might make a go of it. Take care, Dad. The streets of Fort Field of Vermont. October, Windrick has secured.